Seton Hall loses a tough game to Creighton, 77 to 64. My name is Louis Pasquale. I'm joined alongside Bobby Steiner. We are bringing you PTV's post-game coverage of Seton Hall women's basketball. Now, Bobby, this game looked like it could be one that Seton Hall could potentially win based on the first and the first half of the second quarter, but eventually Creighton shot very, very well from beyond the arc, and they were able to amount a lead that Seton Hall just simply couldn't come back from. Exactly. I must admit, Seton Hall this time around had a much better game than when they played on the road a few weeks ago. But still, Creighton's offense was just too overpowering. Their three-point game, as you mentioned, was incredible. Four different Blue Jays had double digits. I mean, it's hard to contain an offense that's that good. But I must say, Seton Hall was very resilient today. They made the game much closer down the stretch than I thought they would make it. And for them, I have to give them props for that. Yeah, and you're right. I talked about it at halftime in terms of the, the Creighton offense and the production that they got. I mean, 17 points from Jansen, 10 from uh, Mally, and uh, Ronsick with 21 points on the night. Um, she had a very good game. Uh, and Creighton was just able to facilitate the basketball and really knock down their three-point shots. Seton Hall was, too. They shot very well from beyond the arc, but, but Creighton's uh, shooting percentage from three was just that much better. And that's probably why they were able to win 77-264. Now, uh, as for the Seton Hall offense, Lauren Park Lean had 14 points, Sydney Cooks with 27. Lauren Park Lean actually had a double-double with 10 assists to her name as well. So they both played well, but Seton Hall really couldn't get too much production aside from those two players offensively. Well, besides those two, Azana Baines followed up her pretty impressive performance with 17 points last game with 11 today. She was the third big factor. I mean, Sydney Cooks, she did what she does best. I mean, she is such a powerful presence in the paint. And then from beyond three, she had a great game as well. Lauren Park Lane is such a great playmaker and a great shot creator. The double-double she had was just business as usual for her. But Azana Bain stepped up, and she did. She was one of the players that I was looking forward to watching, see how they would, how she would, I'm sorry, how she would uh, come back after that performance she had. And she really had another comparable game tonight like that. Yeah, Azana Baines did have a good day. She scored 11 points, but I was just hoping that she scored those points a little bit earlier to help out Lauren Park Lane, to help out Sydney Cooks. It seems as though most of her points came in the end of the third and beginning of the fourth quarter when the game was almost out of reach for Seton Hall. And so had Seton Hall been able to get a little bit more production offensively earlier on, then we might be seeing a different scoreline than 77-264. But Seton Hall will be back in action against DePaul. What did they need to do differently in that game to make sure they come out on top? Just Seton Hall needs to not get into scoring droughts. There were times in the second and the third quarter especially where they would go large stretches of time without a field goal. I mean, free throws are all well and good, but when you can't capitalize in more important ways like just making your shots, that's where this game really, that was the big deciding factor. So if they can limit things like that, because their offense, they are capable of doing it. They have the players, they have the talents, the capabilities to do it. It's just a matter of actually executing against DePaul next game. That'll make it count. Yeah, absolutely, and this is certainly a winnable game for Seton Hall. DePaul, not at the same caliber as Creighton. Uh, Creighton has given Seton Hall some struggles, but Seton Hall has had success with DePaul in the past. But that will do it for PTV's post-game coverage of Seton Hall women's basketball here at Walsh Gymnasium. Again, Seton Hall falling to Creighton 77-264. For Bobby Steiner, my name is Louis Pasquale, and we will see you next time.